For this tutorial, we're going to use this composition to explain some basic concepts of stereoscopic images, specifically the concept of parallax, and the different formats that SGO Mystica has to compose, analyze and produce images in stereo. So we'll start with a simple three-layer composition. We have the first layer, which we'll call parallax zero, which is what is projected at the point where the screen is in real space, its true distance from the observer. We then have this landscape, which we have called positive parallax, which is everything that happens on the other side of the screen from the observer further away from us. And finally, we've placed this cube in negative parallax, which is everything that happens in the space between the screen and the observer. So now we'll see the different formats for analyzing the image. For example, we can choose the black and white anaglyph mode, which in saturated images or those with a wide chromatic range allows us to analyze the parallax of the images very precisely, which in cases like this one, with a lot of chromatic variety, are very complicated to analyze. We also have another tool which allows us accurately and intuitively to analyze any kind of geometric problem and variations that we might have in the image related to capture or any other kind of artifact. We also have the checkerboard, which allows us to see squares that alternate between the left and right eyes, allowing us to analyze the chrominance and luminance in each eye in order to match them up using Mystica. And finally, we have the viewing mode called Mix, which allows us to see both eyes simultaneously, and of course both left and right individually, in order to analyze each input. And then we have all the standard output systems for standard devices for viewing stereo, such as interlaced, side-by-side, -side, and any system that allows us to view in a peripheral setup. So let's look at the composition of this scene in anaglyph mode, so you can see it from your present location with 3D glasses. So now let's see how we can intuitively recreate our 3D space. We can adjust the stereoscopic space simply with the positive parallax to give the composition depth. Or we can do the same with the negative parallax, intuitively moving it and decide where we want our object or composition layer. Or, we can give our object more or less depth. Finally, we can see how Composition in Mystica has two very advanced camera control tools, which allow us, on the one hand, to choose and manipulate what camera lens we are using in a stereo scene by changing the focal length. And on the other hand, the most powerful tool for changing the interocular distance applied to the scene, which allows us to do sensitive multi-mastering depending on the size of projection or screen where the images will be seen. To close, we'll just say that all this is integrated into a 100% interactive and 100% stereoscopic workflow in order to produce stereo images from beginning to end.